Hello, my name is Grumpy. Insights are citizen called Design Brief Engineer Journey to 4.0. Jared, take it away. Con 2952, we debuted a new recurring initiative called Journey to 4.0, where we stepped a bit away from our traditional weekly behind the scenes format of Inside Star Citizen to tell stories at various points of progression leading up to the next major milestone in our continuing development after 318. And one of those more different within that batch were called Design Brief Investigations, where we looked at the earliest phases of a feature that only existed at that time in the text and crude diagrams of a planning document. <laughs> and no, before you ask, don't ask to see the planning documents. It's all just fidelities and bespokes all over the place anyway. I'm kidding, mm. mostly. So on this next journey to 4.0, we're diving into another design brief that's been discussed, debated, kicked around, pitched, and re-pitched over the years internally, imagined and theory-crafted for just as long by the community, and has finally now been signed off by the multitude of game directors to become the next stage in the resource management system. So, without further ado, we present to you Design Brief Engineer the next fundamental component of true multi-crew gameplay. Oh, I'm sorry, and one more thing. Uh, fair warning before the comments come in. Since this next step in the resource management, now called engineer gameplay system exists, mostly in design stage at this moment, we did let Will, Dave, and Alex on the ISC capture team get creative in visualizing the stuff that's being discussed and that's still being built out by the developers at the moment. So, okay. what you're about to hear is still very much work in progress, but what you're about to see at times is the content of crazy people, and you should judge them, because they're exactly like me. Sorry. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. I'm hyped. <laughs> Garrett got over Pyro, fucking amazing. I'm so hyped. I'm hyped. What is your that was the sound of my hard on hitting the table role as an engineer you as the engineer are responsible for the resource management of your ship the priorities of the items and you are also responsible for countering any dangers that you might encounter throughout your flight. A big part of your job as an engineer is dealing with dangers that affect the mechanical parts of your ship and are different to the ones you would face as a pilot. There are three types of dangers that you will face as an engineer. One being something that you already know, which is overheating. The second... Are, is it ever, everything going to be like with fuses? Isn't that like what they're working right, uh, on right now? Like, the first danger is gonna be not having a fuse where the fuse is supposed to be. The second danger is not having a fuse in the ship so you can replace it. And the third is having too much fuses. And being wear and tear. And the third one being malfunctions. So overheating is not only items running too hot, but it also is item running too cold. And the way that you can counter that is either actively or passively, where passively is something that we already do with the cooler on your ship and actively being something like you standing in front of the item and uh, using your fire extinguisher to bring fire the extinguisher. Of the item. And if it's too cold, you can use a flamethrower or blowtorch. So wear and tear is a danger you might have already heard us talk about in the past. It's just something that the longer your item runs, 
the less efficient it will be at some point. So a general maintenance will be required to keep them up and running. And then there is the new one, which we call malfunctions, which we'll talk about later in more detail. But the way that you react as the engineer there is unique to each malfunction. All three dangers contribute to the health of the item and have an impact on each other. So since the first two are quite easy to grasp, let's dive a bit deeper into the malfunctions. Okay. Different items in different situations cause different errors. And while I can't talk... I think it's like a bit of an overkill to use a fucking flamethrower on a component that is co too cold. I'm not sure that that's what you should do. Like... I don't know, when, like, my place is too cold, I don't, like, bust up a fucking flamethrower, the, the Tesla flamethrower, and just, like, start <laughs> burning down the place. But sure. Then today, here are some currently in development. There's Disconnect, where you either don't have a relay right now in the, in the place, or you don't have the item right now at the, the item port. Then there is Power Drop where certain or the required amount of power doesn't reach the item. Then there is misfire, where wear and tear impacts the functionality of your item. Then there is clock, cool. where resources are prevented from reaching your item. There's also a power surge where high energy reaches your item and will negatively affect the function of the item. And then there is leakage, which is similar to <laughs> what? Resources won't reach you. What is this video? I can't even fucking listen to him. What is this <laughs> video? What the fuck? Prevented from reaching your item. There's also a power surge where high energy reaches your item and will negatively affect the function of the item. And then there is leakage, which is similar <laughs> to Krogish, where what resources won't reach fuck? your item, but the cause is a little bit different. Then we have unresponsive, where you as the engineer try to communicate certain changes on the item and they will not reach the item. There is bugged, where like we have the most experience with, with cre being creative. So be surprised for what comes your way. And then... All right, I'm going to be honest. I'm loving this format of a video. I would love to see more of it. Because people are taking this game too serious. Like, this whole game is, first of all, I, I talked about this already. It's just a game. Like, it, like, come on. It's only a game. Why do you have to be bad? And this just, like, proves my point. And, like, don't take it so fucking serious. With being creative. I like it. So be surprised for what comes your way. And then, lastly, uh, we have destroyed where you just lost your item. Bug can also be caused by hacking or being- Right, let's listen to it again. Resources are prevented from reaching you have your item. There's also a power surge where high energy reaches your item and will negatively affect the function of the item. So yeah, and health bar for the item, catch, that's fine, that's similar cool. To Krogish, and then it just goes, goes dead item, in the end. But the cause is a little bit different. Then we have unresponsive, where you as the engineer try to communicate certain changes on the item and they will not reach the item. There is bugs where like, we have the most experience with, with <laughs> cre being creative, so be surprised for what comes your way. And then lastly, uh, we have destroyed where you just lost your item. Bug can also be caused by hacking so or being there's going to be a state of, of um, your ship components when they're going to go bugged. So all the last like 10 years or what, what was it? Like six, seven years since 3.0, five years. I, I don't know. It all led up to this moment where like you were fixing bugs or like working around the bugs in the game so you would know how to fix bugs in your ships 
with your ship components. Being tuned incorrectly. Hey! Why do we introduce malfunctions? The, the, the reason is quite simple. It's something that you know from your real life. Like after a while, certain things start to malfunction. So you better pay attention to those malfunctions and know how to react to those. So your job as an engineer is preventing those malfunctions. All right, so for the timer is obviously going to be super quick and it's going to be a pain in the ass, but also what happens when you respawn the ship, when you, like, reclaim it? Does it come, come back with the bugs and the uh, issues that it had, like the mal malfunctions, or do you get, a, like, a brand new ship? Or from actually happening, or preventing the, uh, the dangers that they create on your ship. And if you don't react in time, you might end up with cascading of errors that will, in the end, lead to the like failure of your ship <laughs> it allows us to to have the engineer being as okay. important on bigger ships like the the pilot or the gunner we want to make sure that there's plenty of things to do for you as an engineer your job as the engineer is also understanding the items and that means you have to understand the different states an item can be in states are basically stages for the items inside your ship, where each item has its individual stages or states it can be in, where, for example, you can have items that have a boot up phase, then they have, that is followed by an ignition phase, where you have to ignite something so that it is going into the idle state, where it is basically waiting to go into the active state, where it starts Honestly, to this is the cool. resources that you have. Honestly, this is cool, but, but like, how the fuck is, is it going to work uh, if you need to, like, spool down your ship every time you land so it doesn't get blown away with, by the fucking wind? Fill me with copium again. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can fucking smell it. You actually need. Then from that active state, it will probably, or some items might go into the prime state where you have uh, to fire something out, example is here an EMP, that can then go into a cooldown state where you basically have to wait for the item to cool down again and then to be restarted or turned off. This adds a, a, a new level of complexity to you as the engineer, where you not only have to pay attention to the dangers, the, the malfunctions when they appear or where they appear, it's also important on which item they appear and in which state the item currently is. Because depending on the state the item currently is where the malfunction happens, it might end up you having to switch the item to a different state to be able to fix the, the malfunction or counter the malfunction or even turn off the item completely because the current state requires you to restart the item completely. And yes, for some things it is as simple as turning them off and on again. We can continue. All of this we do to make the engineering gameplay more engaging. <laughs> we still want that was Copium, by the way, to, to maintain their ships on their own. But especially for bigger ships, we really want to introduce meaningful interactions and so that you decide to to have several engineers on your on your ship and for that we introduced the, the three types of hats that you can wear as a as an engineer the three basic engineering types are tuner mechanic and manager so the tuner is the person that is responsible for your strategic decisions. The tuner is responsible for setting up the items in advance depending on what you want to achieve with your ship. So if you want to go exploring, you ask the tuner to bring the items into a state that they are less prone to wear and tear, that they sustain longer, that they can... You know what the problem is? Energy. You know what the problem is with this? 
The problem is that this uh, whole video is called Journey to 4.0, but we all know that this is not going to happen with 4.0. Maybe we're going to get something like a part of it for 4.0. But this is going to happen in like 4. fucking 12. The efficient or resource efficient. The tuner defines item groups, uh, base resource consumptions, um, responsibilities or roles on your ship, as well as setting new min and max uh, performances for, for all the ship items you have. So overall, the tuner is a very proactive role where we want to reward uh, players who plan their crew activities in advance. We did plan the tuner to be uh, more relevant in advance of your, your adventures but I'm sure players will figure out ways to make use of the tuner in various scenarios. The next hat you wear as an engineer is the mechanic. The mechanic plays into your fantasy of what you imagine when you think about sci-fi and the role as an engineer. It's like in Star Trek terms, the person running around in the, or crawling through the Jeffrey's tubes to fix any item, or in Star Wars terms, Chewbacca handing you the Hydro Spanner to fix up the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> this is the you Chewbacca, are responsible okay. for fixing fuses, uh, figuring out what the details of the malfunctions are. You are analyzing the situation on site. So you're going through all the rooms, finding the item that you were just called out on that needs maintenance, needs repair. Depending on the item or the situation, you as the, the mechanic have to react individually to it, which can be a minigame-like character where you have to fix something that is unique to the malfunction that you are facing. The manager uses the engineering screen to analyze your state of the ship and they dispatch uh, mechanics or the tuner where need arises and can even assist with uh, fixing certain malfunctions. They manage the resource consumption. All right. So all of this, let's, let's say that this is all fine and dandy and that we're going to get this in 4.0. Are we all, while multi-crewing, going to use Discord to talk to each other? Or are they going to revamp the... VoIP system that they have in the game. You'll have to. Yeah. And now imagine this in like a huge scale ba battle and you have like a hammerhead, let's say an Idris. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Let it be a hammerhead because we have it right now. And you have like, I don't know, eight people. Four turrets, six turrets, and then like a pilot, and then maybe a single engineer, or maybe two engineers, doesn't matter. And there's also other people in the call with you, because Fortuna is coming. Uh, because, uh, yeah, you, you, you gotta have like a fighter ex escort, or whatever. So how confusing is that gonna be? It's going to be basically Among Us 2.0. <laughs> exactly. Via the presets, the tuner prepared or manually uh, controlling the resource distribution. And they work together with the bridge crew to ensure a successful operation of your ship. I'm really happy that I'm actually sitting here and explaining you all the things that I just described to you because the entire process that we had to went through is was daunting to say the least because we are touching so many bases with so many teams. So it's a lot of meetings, a lot of discussions, a lot of different opinions of what the engineer should be. And now we have it written down, we have it nailed down, we know what we want, we have defined goals, what, what the gameplay actually should be about, and everyone agrees. So that allows us now to move forward fast and deliver the feature that we have.
they're opening the floodgates. We all have been waiting for you, me, everyone, like Jared. It's 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 me. something that we are really looking forward to how it will play out, how you as a player will interact with the entire system, what you like how where you will bring your ships that you own and what you can make out of them, how different they will actually feel to what they are right now in terms of stock versus you have the perfectly tuned ship for your demands. And this might come sooner than you think. This is the good news about it, because it all ties in with all the resource uh, network work on resource management work that we have been doing so far. We are really excited to, to work on it right now. So it is an active development. And mm -hmm. I don't want to do any promises when you will see it, but we are doing our very best that you will try, be able to try it out sooner than later. No dates, but soon. It's really cool. Trademark by CAG. So what did we learn here this week? Well, we learned that the hopes and dreams of multi-crew players everywhere are taking their next major step forward right now as resource management evolves into engineer gameplay. That the design spoken about here today is currently in active development and will continue throughout the remainder of this year. And that we would normally have to wait months and months to share a story until we had the visuals for it. But I work with some talented, if kind of strange people who stepped up to make this week's episode We don't have now. visuals for it, but you're gonna see it sooner than later. And don't worry, you know we're gonna be back to show you how engineer gameplay is actually progressing later this year. Engineering's the thing that brought me into the project, and I'm as excited as ever about what's being shared here. And as for Alpha 318, I'm being told, yes, there's a message in my ear. I'm being told that it's, it's today. Has it happened yet? Yep. It's going to happen. But which one is it? You can't tell me because there's nothing in my ear and we recorded this on Wednesday. <laughs> we like to have fun. Check the website and socials for details. And thanks for watching the latest in our Honestly, Data 4.0. We'll be back with this more was the... Inside Star Citizen next week. So until then, I'm Jared Huckabee and I don't have an outro for these J24 specials. Leave one in the comments. That'll be good. Honestly, this was like one of the... Uh... Uh, most fun ICs that I've seen in a while. Also informative, but also we know them. That's why I have my senior citizen hat. Before, so one of you just posted this. Yeah, okay. So, since this is going to my main channel as a clip from the stream thank you for watching and uh thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel if you want to support the channel there's going to be a link down in the description of the video you can support me there but also you can support me on youtube in the super chat or the join button you decide also there is merch i'm currently wearing merch senior citizen hat it's it's better now i have a 2.0 by the way it's like a kadi 2.0 it's better uh, also, this is from my merch store. Yeah, but don't buy. Like, why would you have a sticker of, of of my logo? That's just stupid. There's like copium and other funny stuff. Check out the merch store because you can support me there and get something in return. That's funny. So thank you for watching, <laughs> and don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space. And then, bye.